going to show you. I want you to watch me as I write my conclusion. So the three things that I'm adding to my conclusion are one, a transition word that shows my reader that I'm starting my conclusion. It can be overall, all in all, as you can see in short, in a nutshell, in conclusion. Number two, I'm going to restate my subtopics once again, just like I did in the introduction. And then the third thing I'm going to do in my conclusion is that I'm going to connect my topic to the bigger picture. I'm going to let my reader know why does this subject matter? Why is learning about my country, why should it matter to them? And I can do that by sharing my own thoughts, my feelings, um, questions, or advice to the reader. And I'm going to do a few things there. So I want you to watch me as I do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the transition word, number one. So the one I chose is, as you can see, that's my transition word that's letting the reader know that there's a conclusion. Nigeria is a beautiful and diverse country full of culture and tradition. So I wanted to just once again sum up everything about Nigeria as well. So I put it's a beautiful and diverse country full of culture and tradition. I'm not really giving any um, facts and details. I'm kind of right, and I kind of wrote this in the introduction as well. Now I'm going to do number two, which is restate my subtopics. Restate my subtopics. But I don't want to just list them. So I'm going to talk about foods. I'm going to say the delicious foods. Um, I talked about festivals. So I'm going to say the colorful festivals. And I talked about how the geography is very different all over the country. So I'm going to say the unique geography. Okay. So Nigerians. That's have delicious foods, colorful festivals, and unique geography. Okay, that's my three, but I'm actually missing one because I added the one about the kids going to school, their lifestyle of how they go to school. So I'm going to say some of their lifestyle is similar to us, like kids going to school, right? I had a whole paragraph how, how it's similar, how kids going to school in Nigeria is very similar to the way kids go to school here in the United States. So I did number one. I did the transition word. I did number two. I restated all my sub subtopics in a different way. Now I'm going to end my conclusion with connecting my topic to the bigger picture. Why does this matter? And really, when I think about it, when I want, I want readers to read my informational book and I want them to feel inspired. I want them to want to learn more about Nigeria. I want them to want to maybe go visit Nigeria or go try some of the foods or watch a video. I just want them to be inspired and want to keep learning more because that is the point of informational books to inspire us to keep learning more. So I'm going to ask a few questions here and, and then I'm going to give some advice. So what aspect of Nigeria will you explore next? Maybe you would like to learn more about the history of this African nation. Nation is another word for, for country. Get going. Nigeria is ready to share its cultural treasures with you. So here, I'm connecting it to why they should be reading my book. So I'm asking them, what should they explore next? What do you want to explore next as the reader? And then I'm telling them, maybe they want to learn more about the, the history of this African nation. 
And then I'm telling them, get going. Nigeria is ready to share its cult cultural treasures with you, okay? I want my, my conclusion to inspire my reader and to, rem and to understand why my entire book was important. Why was it so worthwhile reading? Okay, boys and girls, I want you to continue um, to start thinking about what are some ways that you can inspire your reader in your conclusion and how you're going to use these three things in your conclusion, how you're going to add them. 